One of the most common questions I get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did for our viewers on YouTube is create a free mentorship course that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they get started. But please take note that there is limited seating every single week. So please reserve your spot at myinvestingclub.co. Link is in the description. What's up guys, it's Harry Haas here. And today I'm just gonna be going over um, another one of those classic kind of state of the market uh, trade recap videos. Um, so yeah, stick around for that and uh, let's get started. So I think another thing that is, is really like really crucial, like you know, if you're trading any of these stocks is pay attention to the current patterns. We have, you know, this in, in this market and in any market, we're gonna have markets that, that favor longs, we're gonna have markets that favor shorts, we're gonna have markets that you know do everything in between, and it's really important that you are paying attention to kind of what's going on. So I figured that I would kind of go into uh, two examples that we saw from last week of things that were, um, you know, they had a very, very choppy kind of pre-market and a choppy grind up, and then we just got this incredible, incredible backside. And that was why I really wasn't looking for for any bounces on it, really. Um, so I was kind of saying that for the for the stocks that are very, very choppy on the way up and are very kind of extended, they don't really work amazingly for a first bounce if we're getting a lot of chop, a lot of grind on the way up. Because usually the way I see is that um, we kind of have shorts fighting, shorts fighting, shorts fighting, shorts fighting, and then we get a ton of longs who are chasing and and, you know, and then we don't really get these great bounces like the first bounce where uh, we kind of, you know, see this kind of overextension. We see it come back. Maybe shorts get short a bit too early and longs start buying. We get that excess demand and start moving higher. We don't really see that with this kind of grind and choppy action. So it's kind of something that I really don't like and it's something that I really don't love for a first bounce. And I've been getting a ton of messages. Like we've been getting a ton of new members who have been saying like, oh, is this first bounce? Is this first bounce? Is this first bounce? But it's really important to look at my examples in, in, in my videos. And if you are searching for a trade and you find yourself kind of day after day, maybe you missed a couple from uh, at the open or you missed a big trade pre-market and now you start searching and searching and searching, trades will come to you, but they really won't be the best trade. So that's, that's something that is really important. Just pay attention and, and make sure that you are trading setups that are good and, and not setups that are, are you know subpar. So again, I was mentioning that like for these overextended ones that are choppy on the way up, don't take that first bounce on the backside. You know, instead try and take some front side on the way up. I know it can be hard and I know it can um, um, you know um, you know be difficult, but it is something that you have to have to kind of like live with as a, as a long trader. You are going to see a lot of stocks that are kind of grinding up and have a lot of hype in them. And it's okay to take some some small size and, you know, some very very small just as a little FOMO just to get some some skin in the game so you're not chasing at the highs. Um, this is another thing that I wanted to go over. So this is Bow's chart on BSQR. We just finished up uh, you know, um, we, we, we were both saying like, okay, stuffy up here, it ended up stuffing, and yeah, the, the stock ended up going lower. But I just want you to pay attention to bounce trades and then how you can kind of use this for the long side for these kind of bounces, okay? Um, so, so, so number one, let's, let's just kind of look at these for a second. Um, you know, we see kind of bow shorts up here. Um, and, and, and one thing that we notice, okay, is that the, the trend is still intact. So even though I was kind of saying like, okay, I'm looking for a stuff move, that big stuff move never really came. I was expecting a big tank from, from 760 and we go lower and we go lower and we go lower and we're at, we end up at seven in, in, in a minute or two, right? That didn't happen. We notice here, we have a higher low, we have a higher low, we have a higher low, we have a higher low. So instead of Bao, um, you know, saying to himself, I need to home f hold for a home run, he, he covers here like normal because these are still intact, right? This kind of trend line has not been broken. Yes, it does end up getting broken later, but he is he's sitting there saying, okay, I'm just going to scalp around. I'm going to make my daily bread every single day as a short seller, right? If we reverse this and look at this as a, a long side and we look at all Bow's red arrows as long trades, right? You know, He's buying the dip, okay, selling the pop. Buying the dip, okay, selling the pop. Maybe he didn't get these, 
but he's kind of selling the pop here, buying the dip, and, you know, uh, just kind of, I guess, like, you'd be looking to sell over here if you were longing. But I was just trying to basically say that if you reverse this chart and use these kind of arrows for longs, and you say to yourself, okay, these could be longs, these could be longs, you can reverse engineer Bow's charts and look at it that way. And, you know, in this kind of scenario, you see this kind of dip here, you see this kind of, like, uh, you know, he, he's in, he's preset selling, and if you hadn't a preset there, I mean, you wouldn't, have, you wouldn't have gotten anything, right? So it's really, really, really important that you are presenting your orders, and look at it as a scalp mentality, right? I mean, Bow's probably cleaned up around a dollar or something like that, you know, on the stock today, or maybe even two bucks a share on the stock today, right? And that's what you can do as well, but you don't see Bow holding for a ton of home run moves lower, right? You know, just, just, just pay attention to that kind of, you know, situation and that scenario. Um, another thing uh, I wanted to go over were some trades I made last week, and these are two kind of pattern trades that I made last week and what I was kind of looking for. Yes, I did have some scalps in around here, but these were kind of the zombie trades that I wanted to talk about because a lot of people were kind of asking me like, hey, um, you know, uh, you, great trades, like can you explain them to be great trades? Like I had a ton that were posted in chat of just me kind of scalping around in this kind of scenario and I had a ton from me scalping down here and just selling in here, right? And and uh, so those ones I don't really want to go over. I don't really want to go over a million trades. I just really want to go over the simplest and easy trades, you know, that I'm taking every day and that I'm making every day. And, and that can be really easy for you to kind of make money because in this type of scenario, this is a difficult, difficult trade, right? And I know that everyone is always like, I, I can do it, I can do it, man. But you don't want that type of stress. Like you just want the, the lower stress, easier trades in your trading. And, and this $7 to 877 was probably one of the, the lowest stress trades I took at all it, throughout the entire week. And it's just something that's really kind of easy to learn and teach. And so number one, I was just paying attention to these kind of support lines down here. Um, you know, I don't know if this, this works. Does it work? Does it work? Highlighter? Oh, well, we learned something new today. Nice. Um, you know, I was just saying down here, okay, paying attention down here, paying attention here. Um, Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also, stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.